Hi, I'm Keith McCullough. Welcome back. Today I want to talk about one of the best topics there is. Is the stock market consensus too bullish or too bearish? Now, on consensus, I think I have a non-consensus idea in terms of how I think about it, but maybe not. We'll see. We'll see what consensus is. Are you too bullish or too bearish? That's one question. Or are you not bullish enough or bearish enough? Now, we can't start with the bear side because nobody's bearish. So forget the are you not bearish enough part. Let's, are we too bullish? Are the bulls too bullish? I think that this is the most, one of the most critical questions right now with this stock market having some issues. So let's just kind of get into it with the raging bear. Like, uh, let's start with my buddy, Ruby. Uh, so old Nouriel, uh, this is what he said, just to, to be clear, at the end of last year, which was only a month ago. The good news, and I quote, the good news is that economic performance will pick up modestly in both advanced economies and emerging markets. Now, again, this is a guy who has been bearish his whole life. I mean, this guy is epically bearish. And again, just note to self, emerging markets are like crashing right now. Okay, so he's got that, he's got some issues with that that he can deal with. I, I want to get into the wood. I want to get into the meat. The people that you know are permables. Because Ruby's not a permable. He's a bear who just went bullish. So all the bears are bullish too. So let's get into the wood. So let's get into uh, Abby Joseph Cohen. Abby Joseph Cohen, of course, is Goldman Sachs. She's just like, if you ever want to get right bullish, I mean, you, you definitely just got to dial her up. She'll give you plenty of reasons to be bullish. And guess what? She's really bullish right now. Her S&P 500 target is well above consensus. The consensus, by the way, amongst all my favorite friends on old Wall Street is about 1948 in the S&P 500. So she says, you know what? I think that the S&P is going to trade it 18 times. So she's going to shoot the moon a little bit here and go 300 points above where the S&P is trading right now, right now on your screen. 300 points. She thinks the S&P is going to go up from here. So if she gets that, she's going to be, she's just going to just crush it. Uh, next one, Tom Lee, who's kind of over the years, he used to be a telecom analyst, by the way, and now he, he, he's, he's a great guy, but he, he's big on this market multiple thing. Like he, he knows, he knows what the market multiple is. It's like God called, and here's a market multiple. <laughs> By the way, there is no super secret mark of multiple. That's part of the joke. Uh, but just to nail it down in terms of how he gets, gets to the number, Tom Lee is actually pretty good at getting to the earnings number. I have no idea how he slaps these multiples on it. But he says 17 times $117. That's how he gets to 2,075 in the S&P 500. So he's a little less bullish than Abby, but Abby and Tom are the two bulls. Like they're really bullish and consensus is bullish. So they're potentially too bullish. Now, this next one, you might have some issues with. I mean, I don't know what's up with the outfit, but the reality is that, you know, the guy's had some issues. So let's just talk about those issues. I'm sure that he talks about them all the time. Uh, 1434 is where Adam Parker was last year in the S&P 500. Just newsflash, the S&P 500 closed uh, at 1848. So a, a, a fairly bad year. But the, the, the more interesting part about this is kind of this cute, cute target he comes up with. He thinks that the S&P 500 is going to trade at 2014, in 2014. I mean, seriously, guys. I mean, well, what do you do? Do you, do you like hope that only the dumb brokers are on the floor that day? I mean, I, you, you got to get real with this stuff, even if you're going to pretend to try. I mean, that's so anyway, he's bullish, too. So all three of these uh, bulls are more bullish than consensus. Again, to review, consensus mean S&P 500 consensus is for 1948 in the S&P 500. So unlike last year, everyone's bullish. Their target is above the last price of the market. Now, the next slide I want to talk about why I think this is totally ridiculous. Because again, they're all looking for multiple expansion when the fundamental setup, inflation accelerating, and growth slowing gives you multiple compression. Let me say that again. When inflation accelerates and growth slows, we're a consumption economy. When that happens, you get multiple compression. This is not Keith McCullough's opinion. This is history. When you get inflation falling and growth accelerating, you get multiple expansion. This was the 1980s, part of the 1990s, really part of last year. So lo and behold, old Wall Street carts themselves out there, and they're looking for multiple expansion right as inflation bottoms and growth starts to slow. So wouldn't it be fitting if last year, the S&P 500, again, the S&P 500 target by old Wall Street was 1528. They're wrong by 16%. It closed at 1848. If you put a 14 times multiple, and I'll use Tommy's number. Tom, I, I, I love your number. $117 a share, I'll give you it. 117 times $14 a share. Even a mucker could do it. I got, I got my calculator right here. HP12C, I've had it for a long time. Again, you do that, what do you get? 1638 in the S&P 500. 
So wouldn't it be fitting if last year, Wall Street was wrong by 300 points or more to the downside on their consensus, and this year, they're over the top by over 300 points in terms of being too bullish. That would be fantastic. And by the way, it wouldn't be ironic. So with that, if you have any questions, I'm at Keith McCullough. That's my Twitter handle.